welcome to Bernadette's Post and today I'll be showing how to create a mirror glaze mousse cake. So stay tuned. You need a cup of sugar, a half a cup of butter, a half a cup of flour, a third of a cup of cocoa powder, one teaspoon of vanilla, two eggs, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, and a pinch of salt. Melt the butter in a saucepan and then set aside. Add the sugar into the butter and then stir. Add the vanilla into the melted butter. Crack both eggs into the melted butter as well and then stir. Sift the flour, the cocoa powder, the baking powder, and the salt into a bowl. Add the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients and stir until combined. Line a square pan with tin foil and then fill with batter and spread evenly with a spatula. Place into a 325 to 350 Fahrenheit oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. Place onto a wire rack to cool and then remove the tin foil. Trace the silicone cake molds onto cardboard for a template and make sure you outline a little bit further in from the edge and then cut out that template. Cut each layer of brownie using a knife and a template. For the strawberry mousse, you will need one cup of heavy whipping cream, one cup of strawberries, two teaspoons of powdered gelatin, and one tablespoon of water, as well as one tablespoon of icing sugar. Bloom the powdered gelatin in one tablespoon of water.
puree the strawberries. I did this by hand so that there's chunks remaining. Whisk the heavy cream in a cool bowl until stiff peaks form. Add the icing sugar and continue whisking. Heat the gelatin until dissolved. Stir in the strawberry puree and then let it set for a few minutes. Fold the strawberry gelatin into the whipped cream. Spread the strawberry mousse onto a silicone lined baking tray with a spatula. Freeze and then cut out the template shapes with a sharp knife. For the strawberry compote, you will need one cup of strawberries, a half a cup of water, one tablespoon of cornstarch, and a tablespoon of icing sugar. Add the strawberries, water, and sugar into a saucepan and bring to a boil. Drain off the strawberry juice into a small bowl and then place back into a clean saucepan with cornstarch. But don't do it like I did. Make sure you mix the cornstarch with a little bit of water first. <laughs> if not, you'll have to restrain it. Once thickened, spread evenly onto a silicone lined baking sheet with a spatula. Freeze and then cut out the shapes with the templates. You will need one cup of white chocolate, two and a half cups of heavy whipping cream, two teaspoons of powdered gelatin, as well as a quarter cup of water. Bloom the powdered gelatin.
melt the chocolate in a double boiler. Heat a half a cup of heavy whipping cream in a saucepan. Once boiling, add the gelatin and stir until dissolved. Whisk the remaining heavy whipping cream in a cool bowl until stiff peaks form and set aside. Fold the heated cream into the melted chocolate. Whisk in one third of the whipped cream into the melted chocolate. And fold in the remaining whipping cream. I filled disposable piping bags with the mousse, but it's not necessary. Fill the silicone cake mold with a little bit of white chocolate mousse, and then place the strawberry mousse, and then fill a little bit more mousse on top of that and place the strawberry compote. Place a little more mousse, and then place the brownie, and then freeze. and repeat with a second cake mold. I melted more white chocolate and then filled rose silicone molds for garnishes for the cake. And then I froze those. We will need two cups of white chocolate, one and a half cups of sugar, one cup of water, two thirds a cup of condensed milk, a quarter cup of water, as well as two tablespoons of powdered gelatin and gel food coloring. Bloom the gelatin in a quarter cup of water. Heat one cup of water and the sugar in the saucepan and stir until dissolved. Add the condensed milk and stir. Once boiling, stir in the gelatin until dissolved and then remove off the heat. Pour the hot mixture over the bowl of white chocolate and stir. Place into a blender and puree. Divide the glaze and then color with food coloring.
Remove the frozen mousse cakes from the silicone molds and place upside down onto a glass, onto a wire rack over a shallow baking tray. Pour a few different colors into a bowl and then pour that over the cake. Trim off the excess strips with a sharp knife and then place onto a plate. Place the rose garnishes on top of the cake and then sprinkle the outside edge with some sprinkles. Let the mousse cakes unthaw in the refrigerator for about six hours or so, and then slice and enjoy. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you'd like to see more of my videos, just make sure you click that subscribe button.